name is Nadine and we are doing a short yoga flow. This flow will be appropriate for anybody who's pregnant, so if you're in your first, second or third trimester, it'll be fine. I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant with my first baby. Um, so we'll play around with some different shapes together. If something doesn't feel good on your body, please feel free to stop. I have a block here. This is going to be useful, but not essential. If you don't own a block, you could use a book instead. And we will get started sitting on top of our block. So go ahead and place your six bones on your block. So those two bony protrusions at the base of your pelvis. And you can walk your hips side to side here just so that you can really feel into your hips. Start to get grounded through the hips. And then finding center, take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And if it feels okay for you, we'll start with our eyes closed. So, noticing your pelvis melt down into the ground and in opposition, your spine elongating towards the sky. Energy reaching out through the crown of the head. Shoulders are soft and take your awareness to your breath. Tracing each inhale into your body and each exhale back out. And now send your awareness to your baby, taking this little moment to connect to your little one. Perhaps you can feel some movement. And know that here, as your heart beats inside your body, so does your baby's. Two heartbeats in the one body. When you're ready here, you can gently blink open your eyes. And we'll reach our hands out wide to the side, starting to move our body, inhale. Exhale, take your hands down. We're gonna wrap the arms forward, exhale. Inhale, open the arms. We take the right hand up and overhead, side bend. And back to center, over to the other side. And back to center, grab a hold of your block and take your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, begin your cat-cat, inhaling to arch, exhaling to round. Two more like that, inhale, draw your breastbone forward, exhale, tuck your tailbone around your back. Last round, inhale, and exhale. Then we take our side cats. So look towards your right hip bone, narrowing your waist there on the right side. Then take it back through center, inhale. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. One more to each side. And back. Oh, to the other side. And back. Go ahead and tuck your toes and walk your hands back towards your thighs. Inhale, reach your hands up and overhead. Exhale, we take it back. Four point kneel. Inhaling to arch. Exhaling to round. Inhale, arch, tuck toes, step back. Hands reach overhead when you're ready on your next inhale. Exhale, back. Last round here. Inhale to arch. 
exhale to round. One more time, arch to tuck toes. Walking your hands back, reach your hands up, breathe in, breathe out. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, keep your toes tucked. We're moving into downward dog. Hips go high, feet can go wide, especially if you're in your third trimester, allowing as much space as you need there. Bending one knee and then the other. Finding a stretch behind one leg and then the other. And then we lift up high and allow both heels to melt down. Now they might not necessarily touch the ground and that's fine. You could also bend your knees here, allowing your chest to melt a little closer to your thighs. Slowly we walk the hands to the feet, lifting one hand up at a time, so really purposefully walking in. Relax your head, bend your knees and roll up your spine. You may need to use your hands on your thighs to help you get up. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Exhale, hands down. Tuck chin, roll down. Once again, you may need to use your hands on your legs to help you come down. Walk your hands back to your downward dog. Drop into a moment of stillness. Find your breath. Inhale, you float your left leg up to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. As we pull the knee in, most likely you won't have very much space there, so you can step your foot down behind your left wrist. So it's a short stance, drop your back knee down to the ground, untuck your toe, and then walk yourself up, finding the vertical line through your spine. Inhale, hands lift to the ceiling, catch a hold of your right wrist, palm up to the ceiling, side bend, I meant your left, no, oh yes, your right wrist. <laughs> We're gonna take a side bend to the left though. So you're leaning away, from your right leg and then pulling all the way back through center. We go to open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. And then here you'll take your right arm to your sacrum. Left arm can come to your knee and you're gonna push your knee into your hand then to spin your chest open. At the same time, can you keep pushing your right hip bone forward? So the pelvis stays really square. And we're getting that nice twist. Both hands come back to the ceiling, inhale. Then we take our hands down towards the inside of our left foot. This is where maybe a block might come in handy. So you can prop yourself up a little higher. Otherwise, hands on the ground are fine. Go ahead and shift your weight forward. Open your chest. Shift your weight back. Stretch the left leg. Moving forward. Open the chest. Moving back. Flex that left foot. One more time. We come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Take it back. Then we'll shift our weight forward. Hold it. Twizzle your right foot in and just take a little seat on top of it. Block can come to the other side. And here you can take your left arm to the inside of your knee. Right arm peels open in space. Expanding your wings, finding a stretch through the front of your chest. Then we turn all the way around to the other side. Back to your four point kneel. Tuck your toes, lift up, downward dog. Inhale, we float the right leg up to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot down behind your right wrist. Lower the left knee to the ground. Go ahead, walk yourself up into your Anjani Asana. Hands lift to the ceiling. Elongate your tailbone down towards the earth. Breathe. Here we go. Open twist. So arms reach back. Right hand to the inside of your knee. Left hand to your sacrum. Press that hand and 
knee towards one another and press your hip bone forward. Perhaps taking your gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, hands come back to the ceiling. We catch a hold of the left wrist, palm upwards. And we take our other side bend towards our right. Hands back up to the ceiling. Hands down to, you know, to the inside of your foot. Grab a hold of your block. Coming again into that low lunge, shift your hips forward and down, open your chest. And then you take it all the way back, finding that deep stretch through your hamstring. All the way forward. And all the way back. So doing all of this deep pelvic hip movement can be really useful for labor and for birth. We want to keep things moving to help us get through this period. And next time you shift your weight forward, we'll hold it there. So you're going to take your left foot underneath your hips and take a little sit down. You can move your block off to the other side again. Right arm presses into right knee, left arm peels you open, big expansion through your chest, and breathe. And then when you're ready here, we're turning ourselves all the way back around, tucking toes under, lifting up, down and up. Hands walk two feet, purposefully, almost animal-like as you pour down and down. You can roll up your spine, please place your hands on your legs if you need it. Inhale, reach your hands upwards. Exhale, tuck chin, roll down. Finding downward facing dog when you're ready. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, float left leg back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to go, shift your weight forward. Step your foot behind your left wrist again. This time, back knee stays off the ground, but we're going to bend it just a little. Roll on up, use your block if you need a bit of help to get up. Reach your hands to the ceiling. So we have a wider and shorter stance here, just to help us out, especially if we have any pelvic instability. So hands lift to the ceiling. And we're going to drop the back knee down to the ground and lift back up. It doesn't necessarily have to touch the ground, but you can go there if it feels good. Bend and lift. If you do need to, hands on the hips is a nice option, just to lower your heart rate just a little. Then we'll do one more like that. Nice deep bend and we're just going to hold. Tailbone is lengthening down. Giving Bob a little hug, so you're drawing your abdominals in just gently. And slowly coming all the way back on up. We're going to step the right toe in. Hands could come to hips again. Otherwise, hands stay lifted. Step the right toe back. Bend into that right knee. You could add on. Knee lifts. Step it back. Now, if this feels a little bit too wobbly for you, so our center of gravity has changed a lot, you can come back to just tapping it. And we'll do two more. Press through that left heel. Control the movement back. Last one, lift, hold. Remember, your foot can be low. We're going to open up our hips and arms to find warrior two. Toe, heel, down. Left knee is bent. Spine is reaching towards the ceiling. Gently drawing abdominals in. Flip the left palm. Reach way forward. Now paint the ceiling. You can give Bub a little hug here if you like. And then from here, you'll take it back. Left elbow to knee. Three big circles with your right arm reaching back and around. Inhale, open. Two more. And last one. Holding your side bend, we stay in our side angle. 
reach through your fingers and peel your right rib cage open. Breathe. We start to lift it back up to warrior two. Left toes point in, both legs straight, hands to knees, into our wide legged forward fold. So coming forward. If you'd like to place your block underneath your hands, you can. Otherwise, hands come all the way down to the ground. Melt your chest down to your thighs. Then we spin the right toe forward. Turn towards your right. Drop your back knee to the ground. Untuck your toe. Send your right leg back. So we're coming into our four point kneel shape, wrists underneath your shoulders, and you're going to lift that leg up and then lower it down. So controlling the movement by drawing your abdominals in gently, there's no back bending here. So we're keeping our spine stable. You should be feeling your glutes and hamstrings working very hard to lift and controlling on the way down. We've just got two more here. And last one, we hold. Send your leg over towards the left, over to the right. Kind of like your side cats, squeezing and cinching the waist there, and all the way to the other side. Last round there, and over. And then take your leg back in, tuck your toes to downward dog. Find your breath. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, footsteps behind right wrist. Soften the back knee. Come all the way on up. Crescent lunge. Option to take hands to hips if you need. Otherwise, hands reach to the ceiling. We drop the back knee down. Come back up. Down. Come back up. All the while, you're finding a sense of allowing the tailbone to lengthen or descend down. So we're not in a massive back bend. We have some stability through our core. Can we go two more? And last one. Tapping your foot forward and stepping it back. Maybe knee to chest or close-ish. <laughs> Lifting it up. Probably your knee is not going to arrive at your chest. Unless you're in your early days, we're just lifting it up. Next one here, we lift it up, we hold, open it out to your warrior two. Toe, heel down, hips are open, right knees tracking over middle toes. Lengthen your spine, deep bend into the front leg. Flip your right palm, reach way forward, exalt your warrior, paint the ceiling. When you're ready, into side angle, elbow to knee, hand lift, three big circles. We drop down and around, and breathe, down and around, deep breath in. Last one, hold your side bent, pause here, extend long through your arm, ground down through the outer blade of your left foot. And if you're like me, my lower back gets really tight. I think it's from sleeping on my side a lot. And this shape just feels amazing. When you're ready, we're taking it all the way back up to warrior two. Right toe in, legs straight, forward fold. Hands come down to the ground. Relax your body forward. We come all the way back up. Just turning your uh, left toe forward, bend into that knee, turn your body all the way around and drop your back knee to the ground. Hands underneath shoulders, left leg, send it way back behind you. So setting up again with your wrists underneath your shoulders, knee underneath your hip, pelvis is really square, lift that leg and tap it down. So again, here you're finding a sense of drawing your abdominals in. Finding the back of your left leg. So really squeezing into the backside. 
using your hamstring muscle and going for a lot of length as you reach your leg up. Last one here, we hold. Look towards your right, bring your leg to the right. Look towards your left, open it out. Squeezing across your body, then over to the other side. Last round here, squeeze across and over and then take it back. Bend your knee in, knees go wide to your child's pose. If you like, you could use your block underneath your forehead, otherwise forehead comes straight to the ground. Take a moment here to breathe into the back space of your body. So imagine your breath travels down the length of your spine as you inhale, and then back out the length of your spine as you exhale. You're slowly going to make your way back on up, onto all fours, pop your block out of the way, turn your hips to the side, so you're on your left hip. Elbows underneath your shoulder, hand on top of your hip, we're just taking a hip lift here and lowering it down. Two more like that and lowering it down. Last one to lift and hold, extend your top leg. Maybe lift it, maybe reach your hand to the ceiling for your modified side plank. Breathe here for three, two, and one, all the way down. You're going to take either your block underneath your forehead or you can stretch your arm out long and use your bicep as a pillow. From here, you can keep the bottom knee bent in. You're going to squeeze your right knee to your chest. Holding it here, or extend your leg up to the ceiling. You could flex, or point your foot, or do both. It might feel nice as well, getting a little bit of circulation pumping through your ankle. And then let's come all the way back down towards the ground with that leg. Push yourself up to seated. Little half butterfly side bend into a modified wild thing. So hand can come back behind you a little. Right hand sweeps around. Open your chest. Come all the way back in. Catch a hold of your right leg. Got a couple of options here. You can just hold onto the knee and foot. Or maybe you can hook your elbow around your knee and foot. And then you're just gonna rock side to side. So a little stretch through your glutes. This might feel really strong if you do have any sciatica, but just take that really gentle. You can drop it down nice and low and just move subtly side to side. When you're ready here, we'll turn to the other side. So hips stay down. You're on your right hip bone, right elbows on the ground, hand to hips. Lift your waist away from the floor. We go up three little lifts. And lower down. Last two. And last one. Oop. We hold. Reach your hand up. The leg out long. Maybe lift the leg high. For three, two, and one. All the way down. Lie down. You could use your block or extend your arm out long using your bicep as a pillow. Just gently hug that knee in towards your chest. And if you like, you could extend it up towards the ceiling, maybe flex and point. So again, all these hip opening positions are awesome, especially for during labor. And when you're ready here, we'll bend that knee back on in. Send that leg away from you. Lift your body up. Come into your half butterfly. Arm lifts up and over towards your leg. Right hand will find the floor. Go for your modified wild thing. So knee stays on the ground. Chest might open to the ceiling. And then slowly melt it all the way down. Grab a hold of your left leg. So again, you could just hold on to foot and knee. Or maybe the elbow crease meets the foot and knee. Go ahead and take your little rocks side to side. 
we will find our cross-legged seat to finish. So you could choose to sit on top of your block again if that feels more comfortable for you. And then once again, maybe walk your sits from side to side. Finding stillness, centering yourself. Take one hand to your baby, one hand to your heart. Close down your eyes if that feels okay. So we'll just finish our practice with one little moment of mindfulness. Come back to noticing your breath. Tracing each inhale into your body, each exhale back out. Shift your awareness back to your baby. Observing any sensations. Maybe sending loving kindness to your baby. Finish together with one deep breath in. Breathe in through the nose fully. Exhale, slide out, let it go. Hands to prayer, heart center. And thank you so much for practicing with me a humble namaste. You may open your eyes. Thank you so much. If you do have any questions or feedback, please comment down below. Otherwise, I hope to uh, work with you again with more videos to come. Um, remember to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I wish you well, stay safe, stay strong, <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye.